Good afternoon. I thought it was a good idea to come outside. It's actually a bit breezy. I don't know if you're going to be getting a lot of uh, wind going across the microphone. Drop in the comments if you do. So this is my little Thursday slot where I don't spend too long because I know we're very busy. But I, today I'm going to pose you one question. But it's talking about a certain topic and almost giving you a little bit of a virtual coaching sesh. And the topic today is that, that guilty feeling. And when I say that, it's that general uneasy feeling that we can often have as a parent. And I say that because I've been messaged by a dad who quite rightly feels the same as mums about life. Let's not, let's not disregard that all parents feel it, although I talk more about mums. And it's that general feeling of feeling uneasy, guilty, not being able to put yourself first or give yourself any self-care and how that impacts your life. So that is the topic for today and I'll explain why at the end. So what are my points? What are my little points that I was thinking about making? Firstly, with that guilty feeling, it can manifest in many, many different ways for, for all people. It's all going to be different depending on your lifestyle, the messages you got when you were young, um, the age of your children, different for everyone. But it's that kind of feeling that if you are away from the children, whether they're at school or they're out with their mates as they get older, you've got time to yourself, but you feel like you've got to crack on with everything else. There's, there's some guilt going on there. Also, when you think about trying self-care, but you just can't justify it. Oh, couldn't possibly do that. There's so many other things I should be doing. Uh, there's another bit of guilt there. Uh, also, when you do think of taking out time for yourself, it's not just the fact that you think, well, I'm too busy for that. I'll do it later. And you never do. It's also the feeling that it's selfish. Oh, it's selfish to put myself first. There's so many other people to worry about and look after and fret about. And... You could also be thinking, well, that's very unproductive. How can I sit down and read a book with a cup of tea? Or how can I just take myself off for a walk in nature when I've still got about 15 things to do on my to-do list and I'm behind on my work? These are all signs that you're feeling guilty and this is all signs of you just not looking after yourself. And as I said to someone the other day, if you don't look after yourself, the wheels fall off and then where does it leave you? In a whole sea of bother because you are probably the linchpin of the family people rely on you a lot you need to be looking after yourself and getting this guilt out of the way so firstly I would just like to say when you feel guilty and I know that most people do feel guilty at some point as a parent you're often going to feel like you're not doing enough and you're being a bad parent when in fact it's a sign that you're being a very good parent because you care you're concerned and you want to do well for your family so don't beat yourself up it's a good sign. It means that you are a good parent. That's my first tip, okay? Understand that you will never live up to the unexpected expectations, sorry, the unrealistic expectations that you put on yourself, okay? You will go around saying, I'm too busy, I have so much to do, there is so much to do, they need me to do so much, when actually who is expecting this of you? It's probably you. It's probably you putting all these expectations on yourself. And I'm speaking from first-hand experience. I'm not judging you. This is a safe space with no judgment. This is because that, that's me. That's me to a T until I started to address it, stacking myself out, feeling like I had to do everything when actually I was just being my own worst enemy. It's okay to fall short. It is okay to not be perfect. The world, the world is not going to stop turning if you have a few disasters here and there. And in fact, as a parent, a mum or a dad or, a, or a, um, a carer for a child, it is good for them to see you fall short, okay? Because I see adults now that I work with that are still trying to live up to the expectations that their parents put on them when they were young because their parents were always striving for perfection. So, you know... It is human nature to fall short. Don't beat yourself up over it. It is often the issue that the expectation that you must do everything, that is where the issue lies, not actually the fact that you don't succeed. Okay, it's good for kids to see that. Focus on works well in your life. And this is where I want you to get 
a pen and paper. I'll always try and bring a little bit of pen and paper into these Thursday sessions so you have something to go away and do. And I am a stationery lover, as you'll know, so I do love some pens and paper. Get yourself a piece of paper and write down what works well in my life now, okay? Question mark. And then underneath, I want you to have a little brainstorm session and write down what is working well in your life. Guilt comes from focusing on the negative. Our brains are wired to focus on the negative. Perfectly natural. It's a survival technique. It's also patterning from our childhood. We probably pay attention a lot more to the negative stuff than the positive stuff. But I want you to write down what works well in your life right now. Okay? Take a couple of minutes away from distractions. I mean, if you really want to go crazy, have a coffee and a biscuit. But, you know, I might be, I might be uh, expecting too much of you at this stage. So just get that piece of paper. What works well in your life? We focus too much on our shortcomings, what is missing from our life, the talents that we wish we had, instead of focusing on what we do have, because that is where the magic is, and that is where you can bring more positivity into your life and reduce the guilt. Third point I want to make before I finish. Guilt is slowing you down, big time, in every aspect of your life. You need to start off with a mindset of just acknowledging the guilt and starting to let it go. We can't strive for this positive mindset all the time. There is a lot of talk, and I do say it myself, that having a positive mindset, having a positive mindset. But we need, need to address where we are now. And if you can just acknowledge when you get these guilty feelings, you're already halfway there. Okay, the positive will come later. Let's just start with a good base level of acknowledging when that overwhelm comes in starting to let it go this is where you'll grow remember that you do deserve to experience as much from your life as you possibly can this is what you're here for share your feelings chat to people around you you know everybody is feeling this at some point you deserve to overcome this guilt and if you share your experiences and you share how you feel with people that are close to you and support you and bring you up, you'll get yourself in a much better position to step forward and realise who you really can be. And opening your mind to new experiences is a really, really great way to increase your happy, happiness and increase your engagement with those around you. Because when you go and do that, especially if you're a parent where your kids are away and you think, oh, I, I haven't got time, I could be doing something for myself, but I just can't. I'm going to crack on before they come back. Take, taking that time out to just experience something different, spend some time chatting to a friend, reading a book you've been meaning to pick up for months, watching something on the TV that you've saved for about a year and never got around to watching. These are small things that make you feel good. And they're also things that you can then chat about with your kids when they come back. Otherwise, you just come across as that parent that's, just there, doing their thing, whatever that thing is that doesn't really interest the kids. The more little experiences you can bring into your life of joy and happiness and interest, the more stimulating you're gonna find your time with your kids because you have more to give. It's an exchange, isn't it? Communication and building your kids. I'm checking my notes. The last thing I wanted to say was, it is, in, it is okay to enjoy yourself and enjoy time to yourself. Don't feel guilty if you want to spend time on your own doing something for yourself. You need it for your own sanity. You need it to grow. We are always evolving and changing. We don't just stop growing when we're teenagers, make various life mistakes and think, well, that's it, I've learned everything. We are always evolving and growing. I damn well have in the last few years, more than I probably have in my whole life, okay? You've got to enjoy that time to yourself. That's how you learn about yourself more and learn about new things. So I think that's all I have to say for you. And I'm hoping that this has actually gone live because it's still telling me, it's telling viewers that I'm here and no one has joined me yet, which is unusual. So I'll leave you with that. Watch this back. I know I've downloaded quite a lot of stuff to you. Any questions, drop me a line. Now the reason I'm talking about guilt today and I will be hammering it over to you next week is that I'm launching my first online course and I'm really excited about it. And people are already buying it because I'm giving it at half price, but not for long. 
The link is in my bio. It's the Mum Guilt Makeover. It is applicable for men as well. After having that chat with someone this morning, I acknowledge. Mum Guilt Makeover, you see, it, it runs well. So I went with that. Four actionable workbooks that you can download. Four videos to support those workbooks. And an EFT session. If you haven't checked out my tapping videos, you need to. One EFT session for you to help you overcome your limiting beliefs. Because this is the stuff that's holding you back. This is the stuff you learnt before you were seven years old. And the stuff that's still playing you up today. And when you get to the end of the course, go to the very last section. Because it's all online and you work at your own pace. And I'll be giving you a free 30 minute checking call to check your results and help you with your next steps. This course is going to take you from the guilt and the overwhelm and the feeling stagnant in your life, in midlife, to making a plan for your future, overcoming your limiting beliefs and literally knocking it out of the park. £47 is what I'm selling it for, but only for the first few days. Get on my link. If you want to get ordering, which of course you will, then drop me a line and I'll give you the discount code. And I will see you next week for more coaching.